Practice makes perfect. And for China's first aircraft carrier, the Liaoning, the refurbishment of the former Soviet Union's very arc and years of extensive training in combat capability were the rehearsal for the building of the country's first indigenous one. This new carrier is in the same dry dock that was used for the Liaoning's transformation. Defense researcher Yin Xiaoyang says the design is a strategic choice. The second one, we call them the Type 001A, has a smaller island. Uh, it provides more space on flight deck and hangar storage. Uh, that means the second one enable carry more fighters and improve the combat capabilities. Uh, from the outside, we can see the position of port holes has been removed. The internal construction has also converted. Um, that means uh, this aircraft provides more uh, space for the flight deck. There are Chinese-made sensor and electronic equipment on the island, and I think um, the electromagnetic compatibility is better than, than the previous one. Then. In Xiaoyang notes, the new carrier is smaller than any currently operated by the United States, and the engine is conventional rather than nuclear-powered. China's second carrier still use a ski jump system, a short takeoff and arrested recovery method of launching. This limitation could promote China to continue to pursue the development of catapults for launching in the future carriers. Building a carrier is like building a navy. The latest decade has seen a major shift for China's navy from coastal defense to taking on greater responsibilities in the deep sea. China's development is more and more dependent on the sea. China is increasingly concerned about the safety of its sea lanes. The Navy needs not only offshore defense capabilities, but also defense operational capabilities in the ocean. Blue water training has become routine, and joint operational missions have stepped up. Chinese experts believe more carriers are a symbol of a stronger Navy and the hopes of becoming a major maritime power a setting sail. China's carrier construction has not been a secret. Beijing revealed its naval advancement strategy to become a maritime power. The newly launched carrier reviews the big strides in China's military transformation. Still, it takes time to form real capability to achieve the set goals. Han Bin. CGTM.